Alright, uh, hello, welcome to the show. Uh, so basically, idea here is, um, rapid fire, kind of funny, but still informative descriptions of a bunch of disorders and then some psychologists at the end, so woohoo! Uh, section one, uh, anxiety disorders. I have four, four, yeah, I have four. Um, generalized anxiety, it's like, ah, but all the time, like, you're never totally calm, you're just always freaking out, oh my god, but it's not actually like that, so don't, um, panic disorders, I have a clip of a Markiplier video, because it, my friend sent it to me, and it was weirdly perfect, so I'm gonna shut up for five seconds now. Okay, so the first night is never usually that bad in any of the games, so I'll play through. Um, okay, uh, phobias, you, you chill. We're going good. Everything's nice until ah, a sudden object that you're irrationally afraid of, or whatever. Um, by the way, I would just like to say, um, you're probably not actually arachnophobic. Spiders probably just make you really uncomfortable. I'm gonna put a really cute picture of a spider here. So if you are generally arachnophobic, genuinely, not generally, genuinely arachnophobic, look away. But look at this cute little guy. All right. Um, OCD. Yes, there is the common, you know. Oh, I gotta clean, I gotta clean, or else I'm gonna get sick. Oh my god, there's germs everywhere. But generally, it's more of like a, if I don't turn this doorknob seven times to make sure that it is working, someone is going to come into this room, get stuck in it, and then no one's gonna be around to get them out, and blah, 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 and then my whole family's gonna die. It, it, it's not fun. It's not fun. Uh, PTSD, a specific event that's really traumatic throws your brain for such a huge loop that your brain in all of its advanced, beautiful glory decides, you know what, I'm going to just occasionally replay this for you in graphic detail to make sure you don't forget it. All right, um, somatoform disorders is basically like an extreme placebo. Like you convince yourself so hard that you have an illness that like you actually start to develop symptoms and they can be like, you know, like a like physical pain or like a fever or whatever. And it's actually really cool in my personal opinion. Um, dissociative disorders. I only have DID, but it's basically um, buy one, get two or more free. The only downside is you need a little bit of childhood trauma. And by a little bit, I mean like repeated really bad stuff in like your early childhood phases. Um, but hey, you'll never be alone because you got all those friends up in your head. Uh, mood disorders, major depressive disorder. I couldn't think of a joke. Yeah. Uh, but basically, it's just like really, really down low sad. Like there's nothing fancy about it. You are just chemically in your brain sad and nothing makes it fix better good. I'm not, it sucks. Uh, bipolar. Again, like, can I just say, it's weirdly fitting that the depressive disorders, I can't think of any good jokes. Um, basically, bipolar, um, is extreme highs and extreme lows, mania and depression. Mania, you are, like, it, it's not, like, extreme happiness, it's just, like, energy, go do things, like, irrational thinking, kind of. Um, and then just depressive episodes, same exact thing as major depressive disorder, except it comes after the mania or before the mania. They come hand in hand. It's a package deal, baby. Uh, schizophrenia, free friends, just like DID, except sometimes you can actually see them outside of your head. Um, and sometimes you can hear them and sometimes you can feel them. It's pretty cool. Um, and also sometimes they want you dead and sometimes they'll convince you you're like literally just God. Antisocial personality disorder. Basically, uh, you don't matter, but neither do I. So, <laughs> uh, the DSM current edition is the fifth. Um, and basically it's the big book that helps you know maybe what's wrong with you, but maybe also not know what's wrong with you. Um, but I mean, most psychologists use it for diagnostic criteria, so it's got some good going for it. Final section, psychologists. Um, psychoanalysis, uh, by Sigmund Freud, who I really don't like, so I don't want to spend a lot of time on him. But basically, it's, um... Yeah, everything that's wrong with you is caused by something that happened in your childhood that you're repressing. Which isn't true, brain chemicals exist! Uh, Carl Rogers, which like, before I describe his therapy, can I just talk, like, it... I feel like it's weirdly fitting that, like, a guy with such a friendly sounding name like Carl, Carl Rogers is, like, 
I don't know. Anyways, Carl Rogers, client-based humanistic therapy. Basically, your therapist just sits and listens to you talk about the issues in your head hole and like doesn't judge you for it. And, and it's just chill. It's it's nice. Um, last but certainly not least, um, Pavlov. Um, why did I choose Pavlov? Because he was the next name in the textbook, and I am done with this project. I don't want to deal with it anymore. Uh, so you're getting Pavlov. Um, Pavlov did classical conditioning. Basically, Pavlov had a little doggy go woof, 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 woof. Um, and Pavlov went ring, 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 ring bell. Um, and the dog came and the dog ate steak. And then the dog heard ring, 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 ring a bell. And the dog came and the dog ate steak. And then it kept happening and it kept happening until eventually Pavlov goes ring, ring, ring with the bell. And then the dog comes and the dog's salivating because the dog's ready to eat the steak, but then there's no steak. Um, and he, he conditioned the dog to think, ooh, bell sound, that means snack time. Um, and then, yeah, uh, so that's my project.